Only one other person alive has explored Challenger Deep in the Marianas Trench, but Director and National Geographic explorer James Cameron is on Guam and he's brought a team of scientists from across the planet with him. In partnership with National Geographic and Rolex, Cameron in the coming days will descend into the trench in a submarine he co-designed. It's something he says he's dreamed of doing his entire life. Cameron, an avid scuba and freediver, is excited to see what life is like seven miles down and says it's important for the sake of science that the submarine be manned. It's not enough just to get the images. The images are part of a story, they're part of a narrative and the narrative is the human race is exploring these places, not a robot, people. And I think that the, the, the greater public at large, their, their needs as, as sort of participants at a remove of this kind of exploration are met much better by having a human explorer in the loop. A human being can come back and say what it felt like, you know, that it was lonely, that you felt like you touched the, 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 the place where life was, was uh, maybe emerged on this planet, which is a possibility. There are some pretty good scientific hypotheses right now that that might be the case. I think you've got to be there, and then your responsibility is to come back and be a storyteller. In addition to the images and the science and the data, that's a part of it, you know, uh, and, and a, a robot can't do that. We can have Google Maps, and we can look at satellite imagery of every square foot of the surface of the planet. The second you go a few centimeters below the water, radio frequencies are, are gone. As he dives into the trench, Cameron will be trailed by two unmanned vehicles, one that will film his descent and time at the bottom. The other will collect samples for research. For now, though, he'll have to wait for calmer seas to make the trip to the ocean floor, but hopes to depart the island in time to make the Titanic 3D movie premiere in April.